think we can shift now to a general group discussion about these four really innovative um, presentations that we have heard today on the topic of improving human health and kind of open it up to um, thoughts people might have. I thought, let's just do the whole group discussion of everyone's talk. So that I found this to be just such a fabulous session. I really appreciate all of the hard work by our moderators and our speakers and the great breadth that we've had represented here in the depth, really, in this area. So I was just wondering if, the, if anyone had any general comments beyond this or thoughts on, you know, what are the hottest opportunities we have to run out and do tomorrow, <laughs> for example. I think we heard lots of them today. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Sandy, you should come join me on the stage. <laughs> well, in a very concrete way, uh, we want to be sure that part of the decision-making process going forward is very inclusive. And so I do want to mention that for all of you who are here today and those who are, who are not but who registered for this and are interested in giving suggestions, about useful ways to move the either individual projects forward or these thematic areas forward. The website will be available for comments and we will make a specific place for you to add your ideas and your comments and recommendations uh, going forward. Uh, some of the things that have been mentioned in the presentation today I'm sure will be part of the overall package. I don't think there was a, 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 a panel that stood up today that didn't mention the value of seed funding, for example. Uh, there were um, uh, individuals or, or centers represented that articulated the need for bringing resources together in a more integrated and substantial way for us to make uh, some very specific investments that would allow us to really qualitatively jettison forward in terms of the science in some of these areas. Uh, I guess I would say that uh, we know that there are some initial resources that will be made available uh, by the Chancellor for uh, these research initiatives. Uh, there are the FTEs. Uh, these uh, issues will also come into play in terms of space resources uh, as well as equipment. And this whole process, I think, we will try to make very open and transparent. Um, I would suggest that from on the basis of today's discussion that there are some areas that where the next step really means that there are groups of individuals that need to get together to prioritize what should be the next steps, particularly for investments, particularly in the more costly arenas. Uh, so all of that information will come into play in uh, the initial uh, stages. But quite frankly, all of these decisions, they're business decisions, right? They're, they're how we're going to invest in our faculty and your efforts. And so we will be looking from a financial perspective as well, what kind of leverage does this give us? Uh, does it make it more likely that you'll be successful in getting grants, uh, getting large-scale grants as well as small individual grants, that you'll be able to pursue new areas that really are qu that qualitatively put UCSD in a distinctive position? We heard several people today, in fact, mention how if we do this, we'll be the only place in uh, California, in the region, in the nation, or in the world that's doing this. And all of these things, I think, are particularly important in the decision-making pro process. So I would, I, that's exactly right. So I think um, we're looking for things, ideas that will move us forward in a new direction and spawn new, uh, new fields, really, which is what UCSD is so great at, is building new fields between disciplines. Interdisciplinary training programs for PhD students, boy, we heard that a lot, and undergraduates as well as faculty learning new, how to deal with big data and numbers in a new way. So all of this seems really important. And I think um, it seems clear to me that we'll ultimately come down with a diversified investment strategy. We won't decide to put it all into one thing, or not all into these interdisciplinary PhD training programs, for example, but a, a variety of judicious investments in different kinds of efforts on campus. 
And I agree exactly with what Sandy said about I like that the about need. Her. Oh, yeah, about the need to br have a bigger umbrella, perhaps, for some of our efforts. Both in today's and each of the earlier uh, workshops, we saw really new bridges between different ORUs. And perhaps we could envision going forward with just a, a small number of institutes targeted with a, a collection of different activities under them. I don't know, just one idea, but we're really, really looking to the community for ideas and how to make these investments wisely. So I, I think in closing, one thing I'd like to say is that um, we consider today the launch of the discussion, not the final decision-making time point. There are many people who are invested in this area and have stellar research who are not in attendance today. And we welcome their, uh, their interest involve and involvement as well. So uh, I want to thank you all for uh, coming and joining us today, for taking times, time out of your very busy schedules. And we will look forward to more discussions to really help move these projects forward. Thank you all. Thank you.